how often should you update your accelerated self-healing program? You know, I've seen lots of people over the years who come in and show me their supplements. We can, when we test in person, we can actually measure their body's response electronically through German diagnostic electroacupuncture. That means that we're measuring the electrical response of the body, the meridians, through acupuncture points on the surface of the skin. And we might find, gee, uh, I remember a woman who was taking a, a particular zinc supplement, a zinc gluconate, it's not particularly well absorbed, and she was taking that for about 30 years when I first saw her. She still suffered from zinc deficiency even after 30 years of taking a zinc supplement because she wasn't, her body wasn't responding to it. She wasn't absorbing it well. It's not a well-absorbed supplement to start with, so it probably had a lot to do with it. But, you know, if you have the right material that your body says yes, it's identifying the energetics of that, the specific light frequencies, just how we would identify, say, zinc gluconate in a laboratory, it resonates at certain frequencies. And, and the body communicates on those frequencies, it recognizes, it responds to them. Those frequencies enter the body and begin cascades of, of different physiological healing responses. So within one month of taking a better suited zinc supplement, she was able to bring her zinc level up, where 30 years of taking the same thing didn't help. And in many cases, you know, taking the same thing over and over can be more like Chinese water torture. Now, water, a drop of water is a nice, biologically friendly stimulus, unless it's repeated over and over again on the same point in the body, and then it becomes a type of repetitive strain injury, like people who get carpal tunnel from too much typing. This is a, a nice gentle movement. How could you injure yourself doing that? But you can't by doing the same thing over and over. So just like with diet, we all do better with a rotation diet, not eating the same exact food every morning for breakfast. You know, a day without orange juice isn't necessarily a day without sunshine. <laughs> Oranges are, uh, citrus is in the top seven food allergens, so for many people that's not a good choice. And in fact, the, the companies that you hear the advertisements for filter out the best part of the orange juice, the bioflavonoids, so you're left with the more allergenic part and not with the protection that you need from the whole, the whole food. How often should you update your accelerated self-healing program? What we have found over 30 years of working with this is once a month is the optimum rate for most people. If you're very, very sick, we will probably want to update even twice a month for the first month or until you're more in a more stable state. Of course, any time you go through a healing crisis, that means there's a change of state. You're moving through a layer. Your body has decided in its wisdom, it's got everything it needs to take this on and clear this layer and it's going to do it usually, typically, in about three days. Uh, even cancer, there's 3,000 plus cases of spontaneous remission in the medical literature, all documented as healing crises with a high fever and some sort of bacterial infection, what we think of in conventional medicine as an infection. If you just knew about the infection and not the cancer, conventionally you'd treat the infection with an antibiotic to kill the bacterium and stop the process. But would you rather have a bacterial infection, with, even with a high fever, say 104, 105 degrees for a few days, or would you rather have cancer? And this can be, in, in many of those cases, it can be systemic, it can be metastatic cancer that, that's beyond medical treatment. So your body and nature has these healing pathways. We, we have set up a modern lifestyle where we try not to expose ourselves to things like soil-based organisms. But, but there's now documented studies, controlled studies, where various illnesses in the body can be healed with those soil-based organisms. So not just the friendly gut flora, but friendly flora from our greater environment that in a natural uh, cultural setting where we have our hands in the dirt, we're gardening, we're farming, we're digging, we're exposing those bacteria to our, our gut ecosystem. Uh, there's over 200 different species that have been associated with spontaneous remission alone. So how fast or how, how often to update your program ideally is once a month. In that cycle, you know, the moon goes through its phases in a month. A, a, a female body goes through its hormonal phases in a month. We all have biorhythms that go for a month plus and minus. It's a natural cycle.
that our body is designed for. And in that period, we go through the various phases. If we have all the materials and energy and information that we need, we often typically will go through the full healing process for whatever multiple layers of causality are in our way of the next level of performance at the things that we're trying to do in our life.